I'm so glad that you guys are joining me today on PJ's Corner. So guess what guys, remember I said I would do an update. The text was very courteous, um, he said he wanted to see me and my response was no. We know that the soul is the mind, the will, and the emotions. And a lot of times we hear, you know, people talk about emotions. And determine whether or not you can clearly discern what's going on with your emotions. So when I got the text, though my response was no, it set something off in me. Indicators are familiar and they are attached to our emotions. Who wants to intentionally give up a desire? Who wants to intentionally say no to enjoying the company of someone else? Who intentionally wants to be like, you know what? No, nah, I'm going to skip out on having a good time. No one intentionally says to themselves, I want to deny my flesh. If anyone wishes to come after me, he must first deny even though my response was no, it set something off in me. I wanted to connect with someone of the opposite sex. And so what worked for me, how I was able to remedy how I was feeling was that I took it to my father. Sometimes when we look to people, they can tell us their process and you know, they can tell us what worked for them. But sometimes that's not the way that God may want you to go. And sometimes what worked for them may not work for you. I can tell you that I have enough confidence and enough strength in the Holy Spirit to be like, no, I will not be tempted, you know, by a good God. I'm not going to be tempted because we're not compatible. but someone else may have a totally different journey to where they actually do go out on the date and in their mind they're able to process and say this ain't going no further I'm just having a good time and they actually can set those boundaries not get entangled emotionally and they're good but that's not my story and that's not my walk I want to be able to be clear in you know my emotions clear in my will and clear in what it is that I think what I take into my mind My conversation was, Father God, as I wait for you and as I continue, you know, to be obedient to what I know is going to be good for me in the long run, help me to see the value of waiting. Because sometimes we lose uh, sight and we lose track of why we're waiting, you know, um, while we're waiting. And the emotions are real the thoughts are real you know and then it comes down to the will you know am I willing to stop am I willing to continue to make good decisions so that I don't mess up the plan for my life and so love bugs you know I just wanted to share you know how I was feeling after the no again um and I'm okay you know I'm okay but the emotions are real. And so that's why he says, listen, when you've done all to stand, continue to stand. You know, because you're not fighting against something that you can actually see, like anger or even love. Sometimes people's love language is very, very different. And what me may be interpreted as, interpreted as love for one may not be interpreted as love for someone else. not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers rulers of darkness you know spiritual wickedness in high places and so when we don't have boundaries and when we can't begin to look at what's going on with my emotions what's going on with my thoughts what's going on with the things that I'm taking in why am I feeling this way when we can't even discern the littlest things about why we do what we do it can leave us open for a mad head-on accident. Maybe 
you know, this will help somebody to be able to say, you know, why do I feel like this? And take it to daddy God so that he can begin to uncover, you know, reveal so that we can be better at being our authentic selves. And so thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, love God, I'll talk with you later. Bye.